Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much-anticipated main event. Twelve rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Ferocious is a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Want to see some the opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Big uppercut right on the mark. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Ferocious is left, landing well. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Now he ties up there. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good shot to the head with that right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Well, you look at this. Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Final 10 seconds. Good solid right hand by Mike Tyson. Ferocious is really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent, but sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring things that you had to understand as far as defensive liabilities. Okay, he has to remember that. Nice work. He can't handle your speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. Keep it up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Stay away from those. Come on. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. Tyson's punch didn't come close. Here's one for you now, he 
Sanchez right back with the left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Mike Tyson turns that hook in well. What was the thing when you developed Mike Tyson, Teddy, that he grasped instantly? Well, what he understood right away was that his power not only could get rid of guys, but could intimidate guys. And the thought of his power could intimidate guys, where he could use that, where he could make guys a little fraction before he ever touched them. Blocked by Ferocious. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Ferocious. Tyson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten them up. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. Round number three is underway. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Ferocious. Body shot lands, it was the right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Keep working the body. That was a miss by Mike Tyson. Tyson scoring with that right hand. Ferocious has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Flush right hand to the head. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in a position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. Able to bring the hook down low. Ferocious is making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. Teddy, do you think okay. the sport needs a national or international governing body? Yeah, it's the only major sport, at least it used to be a major sport, that doesn't have that. And there's no unilateral control. And when there's no unilateral control across the board, well, you have too many spots, spots that are weak for the sport, spots that do not serve the sport. Looks to the head. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Watch that! And the round comes to an end. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Night long. This is your fight. You are in control. You're in control. No effort. This right. is your fight. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. And let's show you Teddy's scorecard for the first three rounds. Tyson's cheek is cut. You can see it's 
opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Ferocious is left now getting into the mix. That's a nice right hand that time by Ferocious. Ferocious is really making his opponent question himself here. He doesn't know what's coming at him from what angle. Real good variety of offense. Well, that's the idea if you're the guy throwing the punches. You want to be creative. You know, you want to keep your opponent off balance. As you just said, you want to keep him guessing. You have a better chance of landing that. He got hit, but he sends it right back. How about that left hand? That's it. That's it. Halfway through round number four. Ferocious is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Punch. Punch. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Still not moving on the boo -boo. A well-placed left hand up top. Last 10 seconds. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Here you go. This okay. guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight. That's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. That's a stinging right hand by Ferocious. Right to the belt line. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Big shot. He goes down, and there is still plenty of time remaining in this round. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has steadied himself back up on his feet. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Mike Tyson's knife down with a hook to the body. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And he returns on that exchange. Oh, keep your feet moving! Body, kid! Body shots! Good work defensively by Ferocious. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Solid right hand lands. And bang, and away he goes. Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? Tyson's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count.